Hey everyone, Patrick from the Monterey Bay Aquarium here. Our colleagues at Ambari are always finding amazing wildlife in the deep sea. And everything they show us at the aquarium is the coolest thing that we've ever seen. But we've always wondered, what are their favorites? So here they are. These are Ambari's top 10 deep sea animals. I have spent my entire career trying to get people excited about worms because most of the time when people think about worms, they think about the earthworms and they're not that fun to look at. Tomopterous worms, they do this amazing undulating dance in order to swim around and feed. The animal is able to swim really rapidly, maneuver very tight turns, and it can stop on a dime by arresting the motion of all of its legs and then reverse direction without changing the direction of its body. And so it's pretty incredible what these small animals are able to do and no robotic system has been able to replicate it. Um, so they're something we're definitely interested in trying to reverse engineer. Crossota milzai, when you first look at it, it looks like fireworks have gone off in the evening sky. It is just a gorgeous animal. It's got tentacles that go off in every direction. And then if you disturb it a little bit, it pulls everything in and jets off in a different direction. And it's, it's like it wasn't even there. It's an animal we see every once in a while. It's not very common. It's a beautiful, tiny little jelly. These rare gems, we get really excited when we see them. The Pacific Viperfish is a great example of many things we notice about deep sea fish. It has long, sharp teeth. It makes them look fierce, and I think the result is that they are fierce, at least to their prey. Their teeth are so large, and they sit outside of its mouth that it can't actually close its mouth. These giant teeth are not actually impaling anything. The teeth act like bars on a jail cell to keep the food, say a shrimp, from swimming back out of the mouth. One of the other types of animals we find in the deep sea is this beautiful squid. And we've given it the name the strawberry squid because when you look at it from the side, it has all these little dots that make it sort of look like a strawberry. It has one big eye and one small eye. It has one really big eye in order to see the shadows or silhouettes of potential prey against the lighted waters above. Its other eye is small, and it's designed to see pinpoints of bioluminescence. It's bizarre to us because they seem ill-suited to survival in our world, but in the deep sea, they're perfectly well adapted. Feather stars are these animals that are related to sea stars and they live on the sea floor. They look like a flower that can't move, but then all of a sudden they'll swim off into the darkness. I love seeing things swim. And to me, the feather star and the way they swim, it's almost like they're walking through water. Um, it's pretty incredible to watch. Ophronema. They look like a nightmare, but they're really amazing. Phronema is this amphipod, which is basically like a little shrimp-like animal. And they take another animal, like a salp, they go inside, kill it, eat out the insides, and then lay their eggs in the dead carcass of this animal. It's like the creepiest thing ever. She's got these big eyes and these big claws, and she looks really scary if she wasn't only, you know, an inch long. Pomp 
Pompeii worms are one of the most thermotolerant animals in the world. These crazy little fuzzy wuzzy worms live on hydrothermal vents. It's essentially an underwater volcano with piping hot water coming out of it. The temperatures can get 200 degrees Celsius. We're talking hot, and the Pompeii worm seems to thrive in these temperatures. How they do this is they have a fleece-like coating of bacteria that helps protect them from some of the hottest water that comes out of the vents so that they can extract minerals from the vents. And then they extend their gills out into much cooler water, which is how they breathe and extract oxygen out of the water. They do this little dance in between the cooler water and the hotter water, in and out of their tubes. So they're like, hot, 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 cool, cool, cool. <laughs>